Uh, I'm a project superintendent. What I do is coordinate the delivery of material and the placement of material and the process of building the project itself. So, uh, tell us a little bit exactly about this project. What's going on here? Well, what we're doing now, we're building the substructure for the new bridge, and we're we're getting ready to get into the, the water activities where we've got to put stripe structure out in the water. Uh, right now our goal was to do all the land piers uh, during the, the wet weather, if you will, and we get into winter, we'll go into the, the river where the, the river's more sustained. And where are you from, Keith? I am from Blue Springs, Missouri. And actually you probably have hired people as a result of the Recovery Act, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We once we got the project of this size, you will have to you have to hire everybody you can, you know, to to fill the positions to do what you need to do. And and I've gotten a lot of phone calls and uh, and you know put put a few to work. So I mean we're everybody's happy as far as you know the local the locals are very happy. I mean you get the benefit of uh, the fuel that we buy. Uh, the the guy the local workers go up to the restaurant to eat lunch. So, I mean, it, it affects the, the local businesses more than most people realize. From an industry standpoint, you work for an, a really pretty large construction company. How has, how has the Recovery Act, in your viewpoint, affected APAC um, in general? It's definitely helped. Um, we, you know, we're running out of work in other areas, and this is one of, going to be one of the few jobs that we'll be going. Um, just wish there was more like them, but yeah, it has helped tremendously. Why do you think projects like this are important to the to the local community, the state economy, the nation? Well, just for the reasons I just stated, you know, the uh, the fuel, uh, the the people that actually come to work, buy their lunches, um, it just it it helps the local community as much as it does the workers that are doing the work, you know. It, so it spreads out more than you think. Plus, all the suppliers from the factories that manufacture the steel, the companies that manufacture the concrete, the local concrete companies, uh, it distributes. There's a lot of cash that, that comes into play in their hands that wouldn't if these projects weren't going. What, what do you like best about the job? Um, that's a tough one. Probably just the just the the sight of seeing you know, something come out of the ground, you know, all it is is a piece of paper when it's handed to me, and then when we get done, you, you've got, you know, a fairly large, large structure out of the ground that's uh, working the way it was supposed to be. I'm glad to see that, that they're, they're, they're still putting money into transportation, because that's, that's our lifeline of the company, that, or the country. That's how you get food and supplies from one place to the other. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm glad for the, the stimulus project and the money, we just we need more of it. <laughs>